All right, so um, the cartridge fits well, and, uh, but I guess I'm going to restore that original angle that I had instead of because that really helped. So um, it's going to give me even more space. I mean, a lot probably, well, like uh, one sixteenth, I would think, or even closer to one eighth, which would be, I think, plenty. So let's see. Um, I had to change this, and I'm, unfortunately, I'm running out, so not the best thing. So let's uh, try to restore the angle. So I was actually saying that um, I got this contraption here. It's a stone. Um, I thought I was taping, but apparently I didn't. And I actually did a little finishing right here. Right here. Um, with this. And it did a really nice job on finishing. I wish I used the stone all along way faster. And I was saying that before I actually tried using files and they are doing a pretty good darn good finishing job. So I, I uh, fixed with the round file, I fixed these uh, round parts of the gate a little bit. Uh, here and here. And with this guy, I actually used it to... Uh, flatten it a little bit, make it a little bit smooth, smoother, which is really nice. It, it feels really, really good. doesn't feel like I have any bars on the inside. Um, it, it is an easy job. It's on the scale one to ten. It's probably a two or a three, I would say. So, uh, but anybody can do it. Anyone who's not afraid and who's familiar with uh, tools like these should be with no problems. Should be able to do this job and actually buy uh, the Bushmaster. I'll tell you where I bought the barrel at the end. Uh, so you can buy it yourself and uh, you know install it on a, a receiver of your choice without spending hell of a lot of money on actually Bushmaster or 450 Bushmaster or 458 SOCOM uh, or whenever if they start selling um, Beowulf 50 Beowulf uh, receivers then uh, you can do that job as well. All right, let me take it apart and then we'll take a look and see uh, what we're dealing with in there, okay? All right, so um, um, from, uh, from half inch, a little less, or half inch, I actually measure it now and I don't know if you can see it, it's uh, uh, 0.530 approximately throughout uh, the entire gate 25 some places but yeah, it's a little bit more here but you can see it's it's well I mean you won't see it with your bare eye but I think it's gonna actually uh, fit around very well let's see yep perfect look at this nothing look look at the look how much space we've got now I don't know if you can see it or not but we've gained quite a bit and this angle as well and as, as well as this angle and basically basically I think it's gonna work very well uh, so let me take um, the tape off and see how it looks and then I'm gonna just work on this edge right here I may actually uh, we'll do it right now um, base yes nicely nicely done there's the electric tape piece of electric tape and this piece of electric tape is gone so you can see uh, there's my gate I don't know if you can see it well or not but you can see it's um, very accurate 
I mean, very, uh, well, that's, yeah, it's for, I think it's pretty good. I like it, so I'm gonna work with the file a little bit here, and then we'll see. So, uh, I did kind of do this a little bit here, just in case. It didn't feel like it required any anything to debar it, but I uh, removed it. I worked a little bit to uh, true this uh, uh, radial shape here. You know, it looks odd, but m once I have the gate, it's not even going to be noticeable. Believe me, you probably can't even see it from here. Maybe I can a little bit, I don't know. But um, uh, I like it. I like it a lot. Again, it's easy. Easy in, easy, easy in, easy out. And uh, I'm just going to clean it right now. And that's it. And uh, that's, I mean, really without video, it's a 15-minute job. So. Take care. Maybe I'll have some more projects I can post.